Hey, what's up, fellow prompt engineers? I want to cover one prompt that rules them all. I created one master prompt and the structure that you can follow to create all the future prompts that you want to generate. If you have been struggling with coming up with an effective GPT prompt, look no further, watch until the end of this video and let me know what you think about this in your comment and if it was helpful. Let's get right to it. This is the master prompt I'm talking about. I created a little template that is also, by the way, free and check out the description uh, with a few tips and tricks on how to use GPT with a few little frameworks and different questions that I found helpful. So uh, if you want access to that, let me know. Uh, but this is the prompt that I'm talking about. I've uh, had many different iterations of this, but this is what I found is super helpful. So I want you to act as an expert in topic one and topic two, if there's two, two topics. My goal objective is to and then describe the goal for the target audience. And then optionally, you can leave a location and give more context. I want you to create, and now you've put the desired output and the format. Uh, please use, then give the tone. And keep in mind that if there's additional content, you, you would put that here. The trick with ChatGPT is to use as much information as possible so that the algorithm can figure out what to generate for you. It can't just guess that if you say, create a newspaper, uh, it doesn't know what to write. But if you say specifically what article, what tone, what the audience is, it will give you much, much more information. So with that in mind, let's try it out. So there's two ways to use this. Either you just copy this prompt and you just type it in here. You say, I want to create a, create a prompt. Please ask me questions. So this is the first way to do it, but I don't suggest that you do. I mean, this is a way to do it easy. So now you just follow the, all the questions here. So let's say we want to come up with a prompt. Let's say we're a blog writer and we want to come up with a blog on surf spots in Costa Rica. All right. So the first question is, uh, what are the two topics that you want an expert expert? So number one, I would say expert in blog writing. Then the second one, you what is your overall goal or objective to create a 400 words. Who's your target audience? So this is surfers, uh, let's say aged 20 to 30. Well, let's say 15 to 15. Uh, four, you would say, uh, is there a specific location or context? Um, surfing in Costa Rica. Five, you would say, what is the desired output or you want uh, the expert to create? I want to create, again, a blog post. Six, what format should uh, the output be in? Um, the uh, format should be in, let's say, 400 words. 400 words, uh, three paragraphs. Seven, what tone should the expert use? Uh, playful with surfer slang. And then eight, um, what are additional detail that the expert, the details should uh, include tips. All right, so now that I uh, answered those questions, it came up with an exact prompt that I can use now. So it used the same format that I, that I prescribed right here. I want you to act as an expert in blog writing and surfing. My goal objective is to create a 400 word blog post about surfing in Costa Rica for surfers aged 50 to uh, 15 to 50. Please create a playful blog post using surfer slang and include tips on the best surf spots in Costa Rica. The format should be a blog post and it should be 400 words long, divided into three paragraphs. Keep in mind that the target audience is surfers aged 15 to, uh, 50, to 50 and the blog post should focus on surfing in Costa Rica. So it's a little bit repetitive, but it helps uh, the large language model to come up with a good answer. So we're just going to copy the prompt that it generated for us and paste it back in here. And now here we see a 400 word blog post exactly on we want it. This is paragraph one, paragraph two, paragraph three and four, I guess. Um, and if we read it, it's actually pretty good. They use the slang that we wanted. Um, they have some good hooks. Um, and then they also included a list. People love lists. So here are the best surf spots. People can just skip over this. The format is already nice. If I had a blog on surfing, I could just post 
copy this, maybe do some all small minor edits myself and then post it to my website. All right, so in conclusion here, use this format to get really effective prompts um, whenever you need to be thorough. Uh, you can also have ChatGPT help you out with that. If you want more information on this template and how to use it with specific tips, such as the one prompts that rules them all, uh, 10 tips on every prompt writing, as well as um, a collection of my favorite prompts that I've been playing around with, then like this video, comment below, and I will give you access to it. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.